With a young, growing family, Keith and Mary Lee Cronin are eager to get the most from their first home. I'm always interested in how we can be more energy efficient, how we can save money. When they moved in, they were excited to put up a clothesline. We were able to hang up almost all of our loads of laundry. I gotta think that we saved some money. <laughs> I also just like the idea of letting nature kinda do what it's supposed to do. You learn, you know, there's a way to live that can reduce the environmental impact. It's just something that I've always cared about. So they were thrilled when they were chosen as the winners of MG&E's Home Energy Performance Contest. I've always, you know, seen videos and pictures of people going through doing an energy audit. I've always just been curious, you know, what, what would happen if that guy came through my house? Today he gets to find out. Consultant Mike Foss is here to give their home a thorough energy checkup. Each house is a little different, which is why there's no substitute for actually going and testing the house. You don't have to spend a lot of money to have your house perform properly. With a degree in energy policy, Keith has a special interest in maximizing energy efficiency at home. MG&E has a lot of great tools on their website to investigate your own home energy use. So Keith knows how much they're using. Today, he hopes to learn why. Mike starts by checking outside. The first thing I looked at was this bay window. I can tell right off the bat that that's a cold spot, especially underneath and up above. He suspects the bay window is allowing cold air into the home. I just didn't even think about the part that hangs out and how that would be an area that could be a potential energy loss. You know, this would be a small, minor construction project. Otherwise, the exterior looks good. But now it's important to see how much of the outside is coming inside. Nice and tight. Yeah. Mike sets up a blower door test in which a fan pulls air through the house. That makes it easy to see if there are leaks. If you want to find the leaks in your house, you depressurize it. An infrared camera helps the Cronin see where the cold air is creeping in. So this is a, a real cold space. Homeowners typically know more than they realize. So if you find a cold spot and you start talking about that spot, they say, oh yeah, this has been cold for a long time. And that's exactly what happens in the kitchen. I always knew when I opened the cupboard door that it was going to be cold in there. And now he knows why. Mike explains the ceiling above the cupboard has no insulation. Okay, so right now you can basically see the studs in between, but the whole box still is open, so all the air is, you know, moving around there freely. Well, my reaction is, what can I do to stop this as soon as possible? The answer to that is connected to another surprise they find in the attic. While the center of the attic has plenty of insulation, the sides have almost none. That's a real problem for... for which Keith had never noticed before. I learned that uh, just because you look up in your attic and you see a big mound of insulation, it's not necessarily in the right place. This is where all the work is going to be, all the way around the perimeter of the attic. People miss air leakage up into the attic, and that's the culprit for ice dams in most homes. He says he does have ice damming occasionally. When ice forms on the roof, it can trap water, which could allow moisture into the attic. When you have moisture on the inside, it can, you know, the potential mold forming is kind of scary to me. Mike suggests properly insulating and venting the attic. If we solve it, we'll actually have proper ventilation up there, we'll have more comfortable temperature in the house, and saving wear and tear on our roof. So that could be a selling point down the road. Other than the attic, Keith and Mary Lee are happy with what they're hearing. The dryer venting looks good. Really, those walls look pretty darn good. Even a big basement project looks good, though Mike has a few suggestions. So you can see there's gaps and there can be air infiltration coming in. I spray foam around the perimeter and then reinstall the fiberglass batting. Well, I can get fiberglass insulation and, and solve that in, in a weekend. I'm glad we're doing this now before I've sealed everything up down here. Overall, the problems identified feel manageable. I feel relieved. It's always good to test and not guess at what you need. It does provide some peace of mind for sure. Something they'll need with a new baby coming soon. Well, we'll have our hands full for sure. Mike will provide a detailed report with specific tasks they can tackle in time. It helps me when I have all the facts there um, to actually make, you know, a clear decision. You know, they can do uh, minor measures around the house and get good amount of energy savings. For bigger projects like the attic, Focus on Energy offers help. And there's a menu of cash back to help you a little bit with some of those costs. I think it's well worth getting your house diagnosed. We need to be wise on how we use resources. 
is just another way to try to limit the energy that we use as a family. And I hope that that's something we could pass on to our kids.